Sona, I think you need to apologize. What did I do? What this well, time? <laughs> I know that's the thing is I I was saying to Gorley, he he said to me, uh, should we do some kind of new segment? And I said, let's just do a segment called Sona apologizes. And um, it's just because I know you've done something bad. I, I don't know what, what it is. What do you mean yeah. I, you so, know I've done, wait, what? I know that you've screwed something yeah, come up. come clean, Sona. Tell yeah. us first of all, what it is you did wrong and then please apologize. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? Well, well I haven't don't you think that's a safe assumption that you've done something? You probably made a restaurant reservation and said it was for Conan O'Brien and then you and Tack went. But I wouldn't apologize for that. <laughs> well, that's a different thing. <laughs> And so clearly you have. And by the way, the, no, che I've the, never che done that. the Cheesecake Factory does not require <laughs> oh, you call I ahead. Know. I know. I've waited for over an hour for the Cheesecake Factory. But I don't know. I don't think I've done any. I mean, the thing is, though, because I don't do as much as I used to do. Right. So the chances of me screwing something up have fallen a lot. Because now whenever you ask me to do something, I really want to, like, you know. You want to I please me? No, I want I want to keep getting <laughs> no. I want to keep getting paid. Yes, I see. So I I want to just keep doing. Is there anything in the it. past you want to dig deep? Maybe find something from the yeah, past. Yeah, like it's need a therapy to session. It's like Wait, is it really? Yeah. yeah. About something I should apologize to you for? Don't you think in general you just? I'm saying blanket Gourley. Yeah. Like on. in general, you should just apologize. Do you want to apologize to me? Well, listen, that could yeah. be another segment and I don't think we'll have time for you it. You said a family emergency as if my dad's mustache went on strike. You said this a, like a week ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you said that. You said- well, what's uh, the, That wasn't even a joke. You, that's a fragment. What, what's the you whole said, joke? You said a family emergency for Sona as if her dad's mustache went on strike. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, <laughs> you said it. I just wanted you I to mean, say it right. How many times have you pet my head and you You've, you've like smelled your hand and you've got mm, garlic. Yeah. And you've also said, you've also said, you know, I need an industrial press to straighten my hair. Your hair is out of control. Yeah. But Do you I'm know saying... what we had to get, you know, when we started doing the podcast, we didn't think about this. We just used regular uh, headsets, you know, by, by sure. They're the best headsets in the business, if you ask me. I'm glad they have their name on the side. <laughs> but we forgot about Sona's hair. Your hair is so powerful that uh, we had to get, we had to go to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers oh and have God. them engineer out of steel. They just made, used an old bear trap. They used a bear trap. Yeah. It's basically, yes, exactly. You told me, you said that my dad uh, built my brother out of wood and that he wanted him to be a real boy. God, you have, she has so many <laughs> memories of my good bits. Yes, did I say that your father, who looks a little like Geppetto, had built your older brother uh, possibly out of wood and because he dreamed of having a real boy. Yes, I did <laughs> make that offhanded quip once. Uh, once, you probably said it to a member of the press <laughs> or like or like an Obama or someone important that like, I, I, I want to think I'm inter like cool and yeah, interesting. I did at great length ex explain to President Barack Obama that uh, my assistant Sona's brother was carved out of wood. <laughs> by his father. Well, so Sona, do you want to apologize for any of this? <laughs> what the hell? What? I don't think, first of all, I think these are all class A bits, good material, they solid landing. I mean, the fact that I'm able to be this creative around you, uh, I think should be a source of wonder. In an increasingly competitive job market, it's important to make sure your brand stands out from the crowd. That is important, Sona. Yeah, that's Whether what I you're selling I vegan say. cupcakes from your kitchen mm -hmm. or marketing your wedding, photography business, I'm just making these up. Yeah, I can tell. Squarespace helps you create a modern platform through an engaging and aesthetically pleasing online presence. That's important. If things look nice, people will buy. With member areas, hmm. You can unlock a new <laughs> revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Hmm, newsletters. Yeah. <laughs> Stand out in any inbox with email for Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Social, display posts from your social profiles on your website. <laughs> Analytics, you wanna hear more? I'll give you some. Use insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Good heavens and Lord above. Head to squarespace.com slash Conan for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use offer code Conan. 
to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. How many stores have we walked into where you're like, watch out for her. She steals and she's got sticky fingers. No, I <laughs> I said you steal babies at yes, the marketplace. Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh, but you've also said I just steal to right. like stores we just walk into. Well, no. One specifically was an eyeglass store we went into. Yes. And I said, watch out for her. She's uh, she's got sticky fingers. And you know what? And you know what? They followed you around That's after that. That's what I was going to say. They didn't know you were joking. So they actually I wasn't joking. <laughs> Come That's on. not a joke. No, but I don't. You take stuff sometimes. I, I don't do it anymore. And I wouldn't do it with you. <laughs> anymore. I wouldn't do it with you. <laughs> Listen, no, you I'm gonna... need to apologize to me, I uh, think. Uh, I think, first of all, that's a dangerous precedent for me to admit to any crime um, and uh, to apologize. I think that's a road we shouldn't go down. But I'm going to take your admission that you steal and steal often as an apology. As an that No, that doesn't mean. Oh, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> you just went, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that a special no that you reserve for special times? Me admitting something doesn't mean I'm apologizing for it. I'm just admitting that it happened. I think that you, if you're not going to apologize to me, I'm not going to apologize to you. Okay. Why should I do it if you're not going to do it? Well, have you paid me recently? All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. This, I'm, this is just how it works. I'm the guy who's writing the checks. Somebody needs to apologize to someone, so I'll do it. How, no. Thank you, Gordon. How many yeah. times have you tried to smack my hair bun? Oh, it's out so of fun. This have you seen me do that? No. She gets her hair in a bun. Oh, yes. And I, I take have, a whack yeah. at it. And if I do it just right, the little elastic goes, <laughs> and the hair goes, <laughs> and it fills the whole room you're in. It's crazy. It's so much fun. <laughs> so now I'm going to end this right now. You have nothing to apologize for. You're a wonderful person. You're a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My lawyer made me uh, re remember this. And I think because you're telling me not to apologize, now I'm going to say I'm sorry. <gasps> really? Wow. It Mission worked. accomplished. Mission accomplished. And Gorley, I think you owe us both an apology. You got it. Ready? You come in here with your Mr. Rogers sweater. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. But uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. These uh, are the people that you meet in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood. <laughs> that's Sesame that's, Street. Yeah, that's not the song. What? These are the people in your neighborhood. neighborhood. You're singing in what your you neighborhood. Want. Oh, that's that's not, no, no, you're you talking want, about. It's uh, a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the yeah. neighborhood. Oh. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Wait, which one is Cookie Won't Monster on? Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. Oh. Apologize. I'm realizing now I really don't like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Oh my God. I like what? Sesame Street. Oh, I Wait, are you for real? You know the neighborhood of make believe is in is in Mr. Rogers. I'm sorry, I'm re-watching all the stuff yeah, now. I'm and I'm watching real Sesame deep Street into it. Every day. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what are we talking about now? I got lost. Well, we just watch a lot of children's programming. Right, because yeah. you have kids. I just yeah. sit there and watch it as a, just a fan. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Mr. Uh, Rogers is on. I gotta, mm. you know, gotta get my cereal out and watch. <laughs> Those are good times. Look, I got off the rails there a yeah. little bit. We'll clean it up. Where did we end? We got Sona to apologize. We got Sona to apologize, yeah, and sorry. Gorley has apologized. Uh, and and um, you? I never did actually. I said I would. Yeah. Anyway, do uh, you want to? You just, you're not going to apologize for anything. What have I done except take care of you mm. and your extended family? Um, I am the sun, and you are a plant that grows uh, because of my rays, my beneficent golden rays. I'd like you to apologize for your weird metaphors. <laughs> <laughs> my metaphor. You know, sometimes the sun will sunburn you. Yeah. And I think that the sun owes that person an apology. <laughs> <laughs> I am the sun and I apologize for that sunburn. <laughs> That's funny. The sun is just, <laughs> I provide all life on earth. Yeah. I, I know, can't but what about that fun? sunburn that guy got in Bermuda? <laughs> He's very pale and he didn't. Son. Oh, all right. What about Icarus? Uh, that was his fault. That was Icarus's fault. I trust. Son, I apologize to Charles Millman of Canoga Falls, Ohio, for burning his shoulders. It made his stay unpleasant, and he had to buy aloe gel. Thanks, son. Now, maybe you'd like to thank me for all the crops. We're good, son. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Son is just so. All right, we did it. Okay, good.